Former Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa is now fighting his criminal conviction, asking a judge today to issue an acquittal or grant him a new trial. The new court filing comes ahead of Correa's sentencing in September in the public corruption case. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joins us now to explain what the former mayor is claiming. The new post-conviction motion calls the trial an unfair smear campaign and gives us the first explanation for why Jaisal Correa did not take the stand at his trial this past spring. We're going to have a great day of vindication. When Jaisal Correa left the courthouse after a jury convicted him of 21 federal crimes in May, he told reporters the real truth will come out. Unfortunately, there was a couple things that, that didn't go our way that were technical today. And uh, that's what, what will be our grounds for appeal. And we'll win that appeal, and I will be vindicated, and my future will be very long and great. So why didn't you I testify? appreciate it. Thank why you, didn't everybody. You Have a great day. But he wouldn't say why he decided not to take the stand in his own defense. A new motion to acquit or grant a new trial in the case sheds some light on that decision. Correa's new attorneys, Daniel Marks and William Fick, say prosecutors should never have combined what they call two distinct cases. Charges that Correa defrauded investors in his tech app Snow Owl and a corrupt scheme out of City Hall to extort bribes from prospective marijuana vendors. The lawyers writing Correa wanted to testify that he never took any bribes and there was no pay to play in City Hall. But then he would have had to answer questions about how he spent snow owl funds, writing, quote, that cross-examination would have spent considerable time detailing Mr. Correa's appetite for tenderloin and clam bakes, his stays at the Chatham Bars Inn and Chandler Inn, and his purchase of a Mercedes, all of which would have further prejudiced the jury against Against him. The U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment on the new filings in district court. If Judge Douglas Woodlock denies the motion, Correa's team plans to appeal his conviction to the First Circuit Court of Appeals. He's slated to be sentenced in September. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News. Now.